For a hairspray with a super hold that lasts all day, you must go to Alberto VO5. To make VO5 superiority very clear, spray the mirror with VO5 hairspray, then with Protein 21 and Adorn, and let them dry. Only VO5 leaves the mirror clear, so you know VO5 will never dull your natural shine. Get Alberto VO5 holding spray or new herbal scented Mist VO5, both crystal clear. You all know what Ajax and Comet can do, but now there's a new cleanser, Pine Sol Cleanser. So let's just see what Pine Sol can do. One, Pine Sol gets out the toughest, greasiest stains in kitchens and bathrooms. Two, Pine Sol cleans without using phosphates. Three, Pine Sol eliminates odors. Four, Pine Sol also leaves a fresh pine scent. And that's more than Ajax, Comet, or any other leading cleanser can do. It is official tonight, Secretary of State Edmund G. Brown Jr. is running for the Democratic nomination for Governor of California. In making his announcement, Brown said that he'd call for a major reorganization of California's executive department. As governor, I'll continue my fight to reform the political system. Lobbyists should be strictly regulated. Ways must be found to diminish the role of big money in politics. Secret slush funds and dummy committees must be abolished. A governor committed to honest political reform can inaugurate a new era of honesty and openness in state government. And tomorrow, the State Assembly Speaker Bob Moretti has scheduled three news conferences around the state to announce his expected candidacy. Some early polls place Moretti second or third behind Secretary of State Brown. The California Senate did something today that it hadn't done in 28 years. It overrode a governor's veto. Governor Reagan had vetoed a bill giving the legislature the final say on closing state mental hospitals. The assembly overrode that veto two weeks ago without any problem. The Senate gave it a try last week, but you may recall they failed by one vote. Today, on the second try, that one vote was there. Two factors were considered responsible for the override, this being an election year, and there was widespread public protest about the governor on his own, phasing out some types of state care for mental patients. Judd? Well, John O. Blue Eyes is not only wowing them at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, he's also getting a little extra protection, just in case anyone gets any ideas. The Las Vegas District Attorney's Office has assigned three security men to Frank Sinatra during his current one-week engagement. Why Sinatra needs any extra protection hasn't been explained too clearly. He has bodyguards of his own, of course. But the Las Vegas District Attorney says that after Sinatra's last previous Vegas appearance in 1970, the singer was promised a fair shake with law enforcement if he would come back. If you remember, Sinatra left the gambling capital in 1970, vowing never to return. His departure three and a half years ago was accompanied by some pistol, reported pistol waving and throwing of gambling chips at the same Caesar's Palace. This time, all smooth so far, though, and there's plenty of protection from somebody. Well, Chuck Henry was up in Vegas for the Sinatra opening, but did other things as well. What other things did you do? Well, Chuck? Judd, for one thing, I learned that they've come up with a brand new way up in Las Vegas to take your money, or my money for that matter. This time, it's the 300-year-old game of High Lie. High Lie, of course, a favorite down in Miami and in Tijuana. It is the world's oldest ball game. If you're not familiar with the game, highlight is a lot like handball, with the players trying to bounce a ball off a 55-foot granite wall. And if they do it with enough force, I'm told, the opponent can't return it, and that's the game. However, instead of using your hands, the players use a special wicked, wicked uh, basket, wicker basket, that is, and a ball that is hard as a rock. The games are shown on closed-circuit television, and here attractive girls wait to take your money, unlike the crap tables where the croupiers just scoop it up. Why do you like this game so much? It's fascinating, it's fast, and uh, very exciting, I think. I like it. It's only the second game. I won the first game. You did? $46. You're lucky. <laughs> How about you? Fastest game in town. Really? Yes, sir. Great. Does it beat uh, playing in the casino? I live here. I don't play in the casino. Oh. Well, just to keep the game on the up and up, there is a rule which states that unless a player makes every effort to return the ball, no matter how impossible a shot, 
he can be fined and suspended. It is a good rule, but it is little consolation for the fan who has dropped a bundle on the last game. Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. A helicopter crash in Orange County. We'll have a film report, and Dr. George will have a look at tomorrow's forecast. The worst thing about a cold is the nasal congestion. It blocks my nose and sinuses. So I take lemon-flavored Alka-Seltzer Plus. It has aspirin. And an ingredient that works on all these congested spots. A, a nasal decongestion. Soon, I'm breathing and feeling clearer. It helps the worst part of a cold, congestion. And that's the best part about Alka-Seltzer Plus. The United account from UCB. The gold account from Wells Fargo. Both give you unlimited checks and check writing. Overdraft protection, a master charge card, safe deposit box, unlimited traveler's checks, cashier's checks and money orders, and reduced rates on some personal loans. The gold account costs $3 a month. The United account is only $2 a month. Pick a card. You can apply for a United account at any United California bank. What would breakfast be without eggs? Cold, liquid, starchy. Isn't it time to get back to basics? Like a good, hot protein breakfast? Eggs are a natural source of high-quality, balanced protein. And they're still a bargain. Morning isn't morning without eggs. Super protein. Ditto value. Suppose a diaper didn't have to look like a diaper. Suppose it looked more like a baby. Wide where a baby is wide, and not so wide where a baby isn't. And suppose it was made with soft, plushy folds that snuggled up to a baby's legs, so the diaper absorbed more and leaked less. Suppose you could choose between that diaper and this one. Wouldn't you choose baby-shaped Kimbys? Two Orange County men were killed today when a helicopter disintegrated in flight and crashed in the city of Westminster. The flaming wreckage fell in a residential area about 100 yards from an elementary school. No one was injured, though. A policeman who witnessed the accident said the copter lost a large part in flight, then tumbled almost straight down, crashing in a street. Killed were Lewis Montgomery of Santa Ana and Dominic Capozzi, Jr. of Huntington Beach. The copter belonged to the Santana Helicopter Service at Orange County Airport. 500 people are homeless tonight in West Tennessee, where the Mississippi River has overflowed its banks. The damaged area runs from Hickman, Kentucky, southward to about 40 miles north of Memphis. Authorities are hoping the mainline levees hold, keeping the flooding situation under control. The levees are reported to be in good condition along the Mississippi in that area tonight. I got a cold shoulder last night because I slept with my arm outside the covers. Dr. George tells me the same thing could happen all over again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're sharp, and maybe it's because you slept on edge. I don't know, John. Okay. It's a, it's a, the cold isn't going to be quite as bad as, uh, as it was last night. I got a notice here from uh, Wilbur Shigahara over in uh, Riverside, and he said the nightly frost information uh, that they issued uh, in Southern California, the frost districts tonight, Santa Paula should be lower than 32 degrees. Otherwise, all should be above 32 degrees. So that's good news. This is the citrus uh, uh, report. But even so, uh, it should be a few degrees warmer tonight than it was. Looking around the nation, they've had some real warm weather. They had a, a record high in Portland, Maine, and another one down in Columbus, Georgia. Um, Lots of snow around the Great Lakes and fog down between it and the front. But over here in, in North Dakota, the high temperature today didn't even make it out of the single numbers. High pressure system out in the, in the uh, uh, central part of our nation, which is keeping the, uh, uh, keeping the uh, uh, clouds away from us, is a high pressure system running on out into the Pacific. As we look at our satellite map here, we see that the nearest, the nearest bank of uh, clouds to us is this one out here in the Pacific, and that's still quite a, quite a bit on out. And these are the high, high thin cirrus clouds. They, they, they wouldn't bother us at all. You notice we did have some high clouds over us today, and they were the result of, oh, kind of little ripples in the atmosphere, and that's all. 
Um, the, uh, you can't even find them on the map. They're just little undulations in the 500 millibars, and that's even weaker than a perturbation. We won't rule Stratus out every day. Could be some onshore tomorrow or, uh, or the next day. It's uh, offshore right now. Onshore right now. Uh, offshore right now. Who knows what it is and where, all right? <laughs> but it's January, and it's beautiful. And you check these temperatures. You see it's in the low 60s for tomorrow, and, uh, and uh, for the most part, in the, in the 40s. Uh, throughout the, the uh, area for tonight. In general, it's going to be fair weather, a little windy at times, only in the mountains or just below the canyons on Tuesday. We've got some good weather coming up, and I love winters like this. I could stand them for a long time, Judd. You make it sound better than it is, Dr. George. Thank you. Soviet Party leader Leonid Brezhnev is in Havana, Cuba tonight on an official state visit. As Brezhnev flew past the United States, he wired greetings to the U.S., expressing optimism for better relations between the two countries. Brezhnev and Fidel Castro no doubt will have a great deal to talk about, including the Soviet aid to Cuba, which runs upwards of $2 million a day. Next up, Stu Nahan with more on that $18 million rematch of two aging ex-champs. This is the way Ortho sells a king or queen size mattress, complete with mattress and matching box springs, metal frame on easy roll casters, headboard, mattress pad, fitted bottom sheet, no iron top sheet, two bolster pillows and no iron pillowcases, and a beautiful quilted bedspread. And all this from just 118. Because of the big four, only Ortho manufactures and sells factory direct to you through Ortho's own stores. Always free delivery. And remember, there's an Ortho store near you. Lately, with the fuel crisis, everybody's telling you what you can't do, where you can't go, why you can't have something. It's easy to forget the things you always wanted to do, like seeing a bit of the world. Pan Am would like to remind you that if you reserve early, you can still get a flight to Europe, the Caribbean, Latin America, Hawaii, and the Pacific. And if you start to feel a little guilty about running away from it all, don't. It will all still be there when you get back. of different oranges for their very special taste. Not too tart, not too sweet. Always just right. And it's 100% pure. No preservatives or additives. If it's Minute Maid, there's no doubt about it. Why do travelers in Canada carry the American Express card? The American Express card is a privilege uh, in that it's a little more difficult to get than, more, uh, than most of the other cards. The reason I carry the American Express card is that I think it's uh, the best overall card. I only have to carry one card. I feel almost naked if I don't have my American Express card in my pocket. With the American Express card, we don't need anything else. Call 800-AE-8000 to apply for an American Express card. Well, in just a few moments, we're going to discuss who we thought would win. Stu's going to tell us who actually won now. Well, first of all, John, everybody's kind of said that the two guys were over the hill. Joe Frazier at age 30, Muhammad Ali at 32. But tonight in the same ring where Frazier kept his heavyweight title three years ago by taking a 15-round decision, tonight it was Muhammad Ali getting his revenge by winning a unanimous 12-round decision. And like in their first fight, this was a case of a power hitter named Frazier against a better boxer named Ali. And Mr. Lee would land more punches than Fraser, but Fraser in turn would hit much harder. Now, Joe Fraser, a notorious slow starter on the left, was a bit sluggish in the first two rounds. No question that Muhammad won the first two. But then as the fight moved into rounds three, four, and five, Ali's punches lost a little of their sting, and Fraser's repeated body punches seemed to slow down Ali. The ninth round was one of the classics of all time. Both fighters slugging away toe-to-toe -to -toe for most of the three minutes. Throughout the fight, whenever Frazier began to pound Ali against the ropes with punches to the body, Ali would hang on, getting a right hand behind Joe's neck or forcing a clinch. Nobody kept track how many times the referee, Tony Perez, would have to break up these clinches. There were no knockdowns or near knockdowns in the fight. In fact, post-fight examinations and pictures show that Frazier had a slight cut under his right eye. Ali's nose bled from a left hook in the tenth round. Round. Even though the decision was unanimous, I thought Joe Fraser won the fight by taking two or three light taps for every hard punch or left hook that he connected. And to give you an idea of how United Press covered this thing tonight, I'm going to read you this wire copy account of round 12. And I quote, 
Frazier backs Ali into the ropes, kept pressing Ali, but Muhammad ties him up. Repeatedly, Frazier connects with lefts and rights. Frazier now lands a right into Ali's stomach, then lands a left hook to the jaw. Frazier again traps Ali on the ropes. Both trade rights and lefts. Frazier comes in with a right cross to the face. Would you believe UPI gave this 12th round to Ali? I gave it to Fraser, 6, 4, and 2, but my vote doesn't count. And so I'm heading for the nearest cigar store to pay off my losses. I didn't find too many folks at the forum either who agreed with my evaluation of the fight. It was a good fight, but I want to see a knockout, though. You think you got the right guy won? Yeah, I want okay. him to win an eight. All right. Who do you think won the fight? I think Ali won the fight. You thought Ali won the yeah. fight? Yeah. Who do you think won the fight? Ali, most definitely. All right. Wasn't close. What'd you say? Ali, it wasn't even close. Okay. Hey, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali won the first three rounds. I feel he won the last four decisively. Muhammad Ali. You think Frazier made it close? Well, he was just rough, and that's all. That's all. That's all. He just rough, and that's all. What do you think? Oh, I do was all right fight. You thought Ali? Dug it. Yeah. What do you think? I always thought Mom Ali was going to win. Okay. What do you think? Ali! 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 That last lady couldn't make up her mind. Two top Southern California college football players today elected to sign with Anaheim of the World Football League on this the eve of the NFL football draft. UCLA's James McAllister and Kermit Johnson, along with USC's Booker Brown, a tackle, sign long-term, no-cut contracts without waiting to see how they will come out in tomorrow's NFL draft. And I'm sorry Barney isn't here, but UCLA is back on top of the UPI basketball poll. By virtue of their victory on Saturday, Notre Dame drops the third behind North Carolina State. USC is 11th, Long Beach State is 12th. You know, I was listening to the radio accounts, and they kept saying, I was listening for the first 11 rounds, and it was no question. It was pretty even all the way, except, uh, which was it, the fourth or fifth round they gave to Ali, and mm -hmm. then the 12th round, you know, everyone was saying on the radio, they thought, uh, as you say, that uh, Frazier should have won it. And yet one judge, another two judges, and the UPI gave it to Ali, even though I read you the account. It's a strange, strange way of doing something. It really is. Yeah. Okay.